Hi everyone, it's Sarah Nicole. I am here just to show you a little bit about what I do every now and then on Saturday night. I am trying my best to look better and to be presentable for you. I got this really cool dress at Target walking through one day and it was with my kids. Holy shit. Um, yeah, my kids don't know about this and neither does my ex-wife. That's the key. Got to tell them sooner or later because I want to come out and I want to be Sarah forever. I just want to show off this dress for a second though because this is a steal. And uh, walking, walking, walking through uh, Target, getting stuff for the kids, getting stuff for the house. And uh, boys go in one direction, one son goes to see Lego, the other one goes to see the Nerf guns. And my daughter and her friend are like, see you, we're going to go over to the Gap next door. Or, or Old Navy, sorry. And uh, I'm like, oh, okay, um, yeah. So I start walking, and I get a beeline for the frozen food section. And uh, <laughs> I cut right through the ladies' section, and there's all these clearance racks over there. And I start looking, and I see this woman holding out this dress. I'm like, my God, it looks like a sack. Like, is she really seriously thinking about buying that? And uh, it might, like, look like a sack in her hand, but I said, you know what, let me just walk over there and see. And it was like... Three bucks, two dollars and ninety nine cents, and I'm like, well, even if it's a sack, I could cut it up and use it to like clean my IMAX monitor. So I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna move back, and then I'm gonna come back. Oh, see my green screen still up from before. Holy cow! So step over my dog, and uh, it's a pretty dress. Sorry, you can't see me. <laughs> um, it's a pretty dress. Um, pretty nice. I've lost a lot of weight, and that's a cool thing. So I like it. And, you know, it's a good summer dress. So, this is what I do every now and then on a Saturday night and more and more often. I have a uh, transgender group that I go to every now and then on Tuesdays. Every Monday, I'm dressed for my, uh... holy cow, I'm just dressed every day. I mean, I might not put on all the makeup and everything, but I, I'm just Sarah all the time. I, I found this really cool um, YouTube channel called uh, Tranny Star Galactica, and uh, um, makeup, I suck. <laughs> um, and it's done by a lot of the uh, people that I subscribe to, like uh, Samantha Zero and uh, Lady Vixen, my favorite, I love her. Um, and, and they have questions asked of them every week. Oh, there's other people on there too. I'm sorry if I didn't mention you. Remember, I'm new. I might have cranked out six videos, um, all meaningless, I take it. But they do a really good job, an exceptional job there. And they answer all these questions. And uh, the last question was like, are you a boy or a girl? And, you know, I, I, I don't understand the question. Um, being asked on that network because there's no question about my gender. I know I'm a girl. I always have. I fought it um, stupidly. Didn't want to be that weirdo that was a guy in a dress. Now I don't care. I, I want to be a guy in a dress. I, I want to be the girl that I always was. So as I sit back and <laughs> move back a little bit, um, I, I, I'm a girl. I, I, I don't think the genitalia the sexual preference or those things matter. I think it's who you are, how you present yourself. And I should have been doing this for a really long time. I am Sarah. I am a girl. And I, I think that in time, I, I, I wish I could be 50 years from now when I'm in my 90s and look back and see how much easier it's going to be for the young people. Because it's already easier now than it was for me back when I was a youngster and my brother caught me in a dress and I had my ass kicked and I've hidden it ever since which is why I think I still fear my ex-wife because she's a little bit more conservative with her views than I am obviously because here I am sitting in a dress and feeling great <laughs> and she's expressed her discontent with people that do this I'm uh, I can't believe how long my hair is getting it's freaking awesome um, but you know when things come down to it, I'm, uh, I'm happy, and, and I can't wait to see what it's like for other people years from now. Um, there were a couple other questions posed, and uh, I think they did this one. I, I went back as far as I could, and I remember hearing it, but 
you know, 40 year old memories and uh, lots of beers. And I heard that the stuff in these diet sodas could make your brain go too. Um, they did one that was, when did you know? And I started looking back as far as I could. There has never been a time in my life that is, um, that I have memories. There's never been a time in my life that I have memories of where I didn't feel like a girl, that I didn't pray, that I didn't wake up crying in the middle of the night, praying that I would wake up a girl, that I would, I, I mean, this is just different. So when did you know? I think we always know. And why did it take me this long? You know what? Everyone's different. Everyone has their fears, doubts, uncertainties. I had mine. I really did. I had mine. And uh, I think the divorce, though, I, I love my wife so much. My ex is not a bad person. She's amazing. Um, it's so cool, that cat rolling around. I'm sorry. I'm so distracted by my cats and all my videos. But I've always known. I'm trying to get all these out so they invite me into Training Star. That would be awesome. Um, but I think we all, if you're transgendered, I don't think it's just like one day you wake up and you say, you know, I would be a girl. I think this is a birth thing. I, if it was a choice, and mom, I love you to death, but with my mom, I probably would have run to the boy's side. Um, no, this is definitely something that you're born with. So here I am, Sarah Nicole. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you. And you have been so freaking awesome with the questions that you ask. And I'm only going to answer one because I'm at six minutes. I know I've been going nine on every one, which means I'm probably boring <gasps> you guys to death with these videos. Somebody said, um, if I knew that I've been like this, then why did I go and get married and have a wife? And wasn't that all... Um, kind of like a lie, I guess, a facade. And no, it wasn't. Because I feel like a woman, because I am a woman, doesn't mean that the relationship I had with my ex-wife or any girl that I've ever dated was a lie. I, I may identify as female at this particular time or all through my life. I'm, I'm out right now to myself and to my immediate family, everyone but my kids and my ex-wife, to my boss, to HR at my company, and I still have to come out to my co-workers, but I, I'm a woman, but it doesn't mean that the relationship I had with my ex-wife or any woman before was a lie. I loved my wife. She gave me chills. I, oh God, I could just cry right now just thinking about all the great times I had with her. So no. That wasn't a lie. And I think anybody else that's been in this position can tell you that. The second part of that question was, now that I'm out, will I change my sexual preference? And you know what? I like women. I really do. And I've never fantasized about a man. And I can tell you that right now. I, 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 don't, I don't think so. I, I don't think I'm going to change my sexual preference. I could say... No, never going to happen, but I'm open-minded, and I know that something can come up, but I love women. I really do, and I love being a woman. So I guess on the other side of this, I might be a lesbian. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't write that down. Anyway, thank you all, and hopefully my makeup gets better. If you look at my YouTube uh channel some of my subscriptions are to some lovely ladies that show you how to do makeup and I hope I learned something from them. You guys are awesome. All of you that listen to my um, ramblings. <laughs> I love you and thank you so much for doing that and you all have a great day and I promise you I'm not going to put out a video every two minutes. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> bye bye guys. You have a great night.